Good morning. Thank you for stopping by my channel. It has been a minute be since I've been here. I ask that you like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. I was thinking about some things, some things that I've done to assist myself in preparing to be the best that I can possibly be. So, I want to read the scriptures found in Ecclesiastes 3. And we're starting with verse 1. It says, To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away, a time to rend, and a time to sow, a time to keep silent, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time of war, and a time of peace. So that's Ecclesiastes 3, verse 1 through 8. And I'm just reminded that there's a time for everything. And the thing that I want to discuss today, just to share really, is that Many times we've entered relationships and we've exited relationships for whatever reason, they just didn't work out. And we're left with a an effect upon us where it seems like you can't get past getting the person, you can't get over the person. You're always thinking about the person. You're kind of like in a sad state maybe, or maybe you're not. And you just wish that it could have been. But I believe that once you've made a decision, you've gone to the Holy Spirit, you've talked about it, and, and, and you're still not able to get past it. I, I think that you can pray a prayer. It may sound simple, but I have prayed it because I've had to get past some relationships that did not work out. You can pray a prayer, and with that prayer, I believe that you can get completely delivered and you know the Bible says, um, when you, once you're delivered, you know, whom the Son set, sets free is free indeed. I believe that you will be delivered. That is, if you believe that you'll be delivered. And we're speaking of being delivered from previous relationships, being completely set free from those relationships so that they will not hinder you in building upon uh or either connecting and building another relationship. So this video is specifically about being delivered from previous relationships or a relationship. So I just want to pray with you about that today. So we go to the Father in the name of Jesus as we pray. So let's go to the Father. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. We thank you, we praise you, we give you glory, we give you honor. We magnify your name for you are faithful. Today we're specifically coming just agreeing with those that have been in relationships. The relationship may have been over a day, maybe a month, or a week, or a year, or five years, or ten. But they're it's still having some type of effect upon their lives, and they want to be free. So we want to agree in prayer, God, that you will deliver them. So, Father God, we come right now. We bind the hand of the enemy. We, we come against you, devil, in the name of Jesus. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And we plead and apply the blood of Jesus over this person, over their mind, will, and their emotions in Jesus' name. We bind them to the perfect will of God. We thank you, God, that they won't miss it to the left or to the right. Father God, we uproot every residual experience that's left within their mind, their spirit, their soul, God. 
we uproot it right now in the name of Jesus and we curse it to the root right now in Jesus name we ask you father God to clear their mind God in Jesus name clear their conscience God in Jesus name so that they're able to focus on you God and not on something that didn't work out for whatever reason God so you're uprooting it God you're uprooting it God and father God because you're uprooting it God we thank you God you're replacing it God with thoughts of you God about the life that you have for them father God in Jesus name and we thank you father God that is uprooted now in the name of Jesus you believe that you receive God that God has done it for you believe that you receive that God has done it for you now in Jesus name and thank him that is uprooted is plucked up in Jesus name you thank him for it now in Jesus name and you believe that you receive an infilling of God that's going to take you further and that's going to keep you from that pit in Jesus name of believing and just receiving the lives of the enemy in Jesus name. Amen. Be blessed today and I pray that you have a great awesome week in Jesus name. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button.